Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number 11. One more war, and we are done. And we're going up against an alliance called Demon League. I do remember fighting these guys before. I don't remember how it turned out, uh, but I do believe they are uh, pretty tough competitors. All right, so in section one, I take path one. I've already scouted my path out. I know the defenders I'm going to have to face. And if you'll notice, they placed a defender on this first node. Now, in the past few wars, they have not placed that defender. Usually it's a diversity champ if they do place them. Now, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced can be a little tricky. I've heard people wonder why he evades even after they shut down the AI because they've read that he gets a percentage chance to evade specials while the AI is active. So you can hit him with a heavy, shut the AI down, or if you have a cosmic champion and you're hitting him, it shuts the AI down, they figure, okay, he shouldn't be able to evade now. But he has a second evade. He has a flat chance to evade all attacks, including specials. So... Don't be surprised if you see him evading even after you shut down his AI. But as you can see, Gladiator Hulk had no problem whatsoever. Gladiator Hulk is the king. All right, now, this fight here, Juggernaut, just is annoying. He's not difficult. He used to be a great defender. They changed Mystic Dispersion, which basically neutered him badly. But then they made another change. It used to be that you could stun him while he was unstoppable but you can't anymore i used to parry stun him and then get one hit in and then back off until the unstoppable was out but now you have to basically wait until that unstoppable is finished unless you go in there with a the champion that can deal with the unstoppable like she hulk captain america infinity war uh they can nullify that unstoppable if he's already unstoppable um, and you have quite a few other champions nowadays uh, that can deal with it. Anyone that has the slow debuff, like uh, Spider-Man Stealth Suit, uh, Spider-Gwen, and uh, I believe uh, Supreme, uh, the new one, Sorcerer Supreme, they can deal with that Unstoppable. All right? Now, we got done with uh, Section 1. As usual, one of my other Alliance mates took care of that mini. And we're off to Section 2. Now, you'll see here, Section 2, they placed this Mysterio right off the bat. Now, I remember looking at it, and I was going, oh, man, I did not want to deal with Mysterio. I don't like dealing with Mysterio. I've gotten wrecked with Mysterio, uh, mainly because I can't stop my reflexes. When he fires that special one off and I manage to evade it, I want to go right into the attack. And I'm just like, yeah, and I forget. Can't do that. He will just reflect the damage and heal it all back up. It's ugly when it happens. I'll sit there looking going, what? oh, man. And of course, I'll remember it when it's too late. Um, but hopefully I will remember that this in this fight here. All right. So you see here, I'm just building up poise charges with Starkey. Now, I believe that any Spider-Verse champion that uh, knocks him down, see there, uh, his helmet is now cracked. So a Spider-Verse champion that knocks him down will crack the helmet. While his helmet is cracked, he loses those powers. But Spider-Man Stark and Hans didn't really need uh, to deal with that in any case. He didn't have to deal with the special one. He just put in a lot of damage. Now, they didn't place a defender on the second node. All right. And so I just went ahead and you can see he's not clear yet. So I backed off. Now he's clear. And I didn't take the first two minis. But now they saved that Punisher for me. Anytime I see Punisher 2099, I think Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Now, normally, on this node, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced would have no problem whatsoever. But you see that defense tactic flow? 
that is a mess. I don't like flow. I hope they change it more than they just did um, because the changes that they made are pointless. They, they, they don't help anything really. All right. Um, but it's a very annoying node, especially for me. I don't like power gain. I don't like anything that's going to make the fight take longer, make me slow down my pace. It's just annoying and it's not fun. And I already don't like Alliance War in the first place. But this season, we are making a push. We're trying to go for Platinum. So that's why you see me boosting up here. I was trying to think of what boost to use. Uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced doesn't really need a lot of damage boosts. So I just threw in that 10 percenter. But the main one that I wanted was the Indestructible. Because I figured if I do mess up and he gets to a special three, I'll be able to tank it. All right. So it's a little tricky sometimes to get my poise charges uh, built up against him. So I just build them up until he does something like this. And then I just go in. Okay. But he is a control champion. So every time I crit, you're going to see he has a power gain for 10 seconds. All right, and you know, Spider-Man, look at this power flood. He's almost at a special three, and I'm in the corner. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. All right, we got lucky there. I'm just going in. There's no reason to wait, and we got him down. All that um, evading that I did earlier built up my poise charges, so Starkey was doing a crazy amount of damage. We got lucky because he didn't fire his special three off instantly. All right, but that's flow, and that's why it's just ugly i hate it all right so that's gonna do it for my participation in this war uh and we will be back to find out how we did and we're back and as you can see we managed to win this war we're doing quite good so far we have lost only one war this season so we are really pushing to make platinum and we are probably locked in. Uh, if you see my gameplay, you'll see I'm probably a bit more relaxed because, you know, the folks that calculate our leaderboards and all of that have said that, you know, we're pretty locked in, you know, provided I assume that we get all of our bosses down. And I remember there was uh, a couple of wars that uh, they just said, just get the boss down. And we still won. So hopefully we're going to be able to pull out the season and get platinum. Uh, when I first joined, we hit platinum three. Uh, then the next season it was two and the next season it was one. Then Alliance Quest rewards got buffed considerably and we changed our focus and since then we have not i don't think we've gotten platinum since then i'm not sure but uh the team is different this is not the same uh team uh that was in platinum one a lot of those guys left because they wanted to be more alliance war focused and they couldn't stand being uh in gold that's not what they signed up for and i don't blame them uh so it's been a while since we were in platinum and i think last season we ended up in gold three or two something like that and i know a lot of people weren't happy and so a vote was taken and we all decided to push this season and we have been doing quite well i am impressed uh one loss and we're going to see if we can't finish out the season with all wins so that's going to do it guys for the video hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know uh in the comment section below uh what you thought of the video uh, if you have any tips or tricks let me know uh and we're going to see if i change up my team for next season if flow defense tactic flow does not change uh, and they've already changed it, but if it doesn't change again, then I'm going to just have to bring in uh, Guillotine 2099, and I may even rank her up uh, because of it.
So that's going to do it. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.